Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa headed the Cabinet's weekly meeting at Qudaybiya Palace. The Secretary General of the Cabinet, Yasser Al Nasser, made the following statement. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed the importance of economic growth in the economy's strategic sectors, which His Royal Highness said will contribute to the development of the kingdom and will improve improve conditions of the citizens. His Royal Highness also affirmed the importance of preparing strategies and programs to achieve a sustainable fiscal balance and economic development while preserving positive economic growth, as per His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision for the country. His Royal Highness hailed the support and patronage of His Majesty the King for various sectors to realize economic growth, key among which is the industrial sector, as evidenced by His Majesty's opening of the sixth production line at Alba, which His Royal Highness hailed as a defining moment in the country's industrial sector. After that, His Royal Highness directed the Cabinet to continue supporting the private sector through the expansion of existing projects. In that vein, His Royal Highness congratulated the winners of the Pioneers at Palace program, the concluding ceremony of which His Royal Highness patronized last week. The Cabinet congratulated Bahrainis on Bahraini Women's Day, which was held this year under the theme of higher education and the sciences of the future. The Cabinet praised the efforts of the Supreme Council for Women, led by Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness commemorated the centennial of the establishment of the police force in Bahrain and praised the efforts and sacrifices that the security forces have made, which His Royal Highness said is a source of pride. His Royal Highness also praised the success of the Career Expo exhibition, which was also organized by the Minister of Labor and Social Development and was opened by the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Cabinet then congratulated the leadership and the people of the United Arab Emirates for the 48th National Day and wished the brotherly country further progress and prosperity. The Cabinet praised the UAE's achievements under the leadership of its President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. After that, the Cabinet discussed a number of items on its agenda and took the following decisions. The Cabinet approved a number of projects to develop the electrical and water supply networks at Al Dur 2 station. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then directed the Cabinet to examine the old electricity and water networks. The Cabinet approved a memo from the Minister of Finance and National Economy on how it will execute the Government Plan 2019-2022, which includes setting up a budget for the Government in cooperation with other ministries and Government bureaus. The memo also includes signing agreements with friendly countries in related fields, which aim to enhance bilateral relations. His Royal Highness then directed the Cabinet to give special attention to the water park and the artificial coral reefs in its vicinity, in an effort that aims to preserve marine environment, promote tourism, develop the economy and extract resources such as oil and gas. The Cabinet discussed the Kingdom's signing of the Bonn Agreement, which is meant to preserve migrating species of fungal animals. The Cabinet reviewed a number of tenders and auctions from a period between January and September 2019 and discussed the improvements that need to be made to them. Finally, the Cabinet examined the outcome of the 35th meeting of the Standing Committee of Economic and Commercial Cooperation of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, which was held in Turkey. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 2019 at the Yas Marina Circuit. His Royal Highness highlighted the deeply rooted bilateral ties between Bahrain and the UAE, which continue to thrive under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Crown Prince noted that the Abu 
Dhabi Grand Prix provides an outstanding opportunity to experience the region's prestigious motorsports events. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized that the annual Formula One races hosted in Bahrain and the UAE are keenly anticipated fixtures on the international motorsport calendar that exhibit the diverse leisure and entertainment sectors of both countries. His Royal Highness added that the races were also an important opportunity to showcase the organizational capacity of Bahrain and the UAE. He concluded by extending his congratulations to the President of the UAE, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Vice President and Minister, Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the successful hosting of the Formula One Etihad Airways Abu Dhabi Grand Prix 2019. His Royal Highness later met with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Vice President of the Council of Ministers and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and a number of senior officials and dignitaries on the sidelines of the race.
The investigation unit associated with public prosecution held a workshop on investigation procedures on torture crimes and mistreatment in cooperation with the General Secretariat for Grievances. The workshop was conducted by a number of specialists from the College of Policing UK and was attended by members of the investigation unit in Bahrain, along with various affiliates of the General Secretariat for Grievances as part of an ongoing development process of this field. The Animal and Environment Protection Charity Organization, AEPCO, held an Animal and Environmental Awareness Day at the Dragon Hotel under the patronage of AEPCO President Sheikha Marwa bint Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa. The event encouraged its attendees to know how to care for animals and promoted the protection of the environment. AEPCO took the opportunity to explain its activities to the attendees and urged lawmakers to adopt measures to regulate animal breeding, animal welfare, and to protect the environment. Very impressed uh, coming from uh, Germany where many people uh, are uh, lovers of uh, cats and dogs, uh, how strong also the uh, respect uh, for animals is developed here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Of course there's a lot to do and uh, sometimes animals are not uh, being treated properly and uh, initiatives like this one really contribute uh, to raise the awareness uh, of how important this is. The awareness it gives for uh, people about uh, about animals, dogs uh, especially, is very important in Bahrain. We have a lot of stray dogs uh, that uh, and dogs that are being abused, dogs that are being used for dog fighting, and uh, that is something that we sh should not be allowed. Uh, and I think that um, the fundraising that they are doing here for the help that is given is excellent. I think it's very important to have these kind of events in Bahrain to raise awareness on dogs here. Dogs are pets, they're beautiful creatures, they give you so much love and they're not something to be afraid of. I think people sometimes can be scared of them from from growing up in Bahrain, the culture with dogs is a little bit, they're a bit scared, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Today we're here at EPCO's event, which is Dogs Day, and it's to bring awareness to dogs in the Kingdom of Bahrain, specifically stray dogs, in order to uh, go with the TNR program that they're carrying out. And um, I brought my own dog with me today, and there are lots of dogs, and they're all meeting each other at this event.